Okay, so this is a conservation of momentum problem, but it's also a, it's going to be a um, conservation of kinetic energy problem because it is a totally elastic collision. So we have a ball, uh, let's call this um, ball A. It's moving in this direction and the mass of ball A is 0 0.44 kilograms. And it's moving with a speed of 4.5 meters per second. And it collides head on with another ball, ball B, and ball B has a mass of 0 0.22 kilograms. Okay? And this one is initially at rest. Now, if we have, if it's perfectly elastic, then what will be the final velocity of both and direction of each ball. So in this case we actually have two equations which we can draw upon. We have conservation of momentum. In this case we have MAVA is equal to, because B is not moving, MAVA prime plus MBVB prime. In addition to this equation, we also have a conservation of kinetic energy. So we have KI, K kinetic energy initial equals kinetic energy final. In that case, we will have one half MAVA squared is equal to one half MAVA prime squared plus one half MBVB prime squared. However, we have one other thing. At this point, it, we wouldn't be able to solve it unless we actually know that MA is actually twice the size of MB. Now what that means is, is if I write that in equation form, MA is equal to two times MB. Now, what I can say is I could just say that M is MB, and now I could simply replace uh, every t everywhere I see an MA, I can just replace it with a 2M, and every t everywhere I see an M, I can just replace it, uh, sorry, everywhere I see an MB, I'll just replace it with an M. So coming back to these equations, this one and this one, Let's rewrite them. Let's let's rewrite the first one. Uh, whoa. Let's rewrite the first one here. So I'm going to go 2MVA is equal to uh, 2MVA prime plus MBB prime. Okay? Because, as I said, you can see here that MA is 2M and MB is M. So that's what I've done. Every time I see an MA, I replace it with a 2M. Now this equation, let's rewrite, and we're going to get 1 half 2M VA squared is equal to 1 half 2m VA prime squared plus one half m VB prime squared. Now what I can do is I can delete the m's, or I shouldn't say delete, but basically cancel out. Okay, so that m cancels that m cancels that m. Divide the whole th equation by m. That m is gone. That m is gone, and that m is gone. In addition, this one half 
cancels this two, and that one half cancels the two. So what am I left with? Compl you know, let's just write them all again one more time, and see what we're left with. Now this one becomes two v a equals two v a prime, which means final, uh, plus uh, v b prime, and this one becomes uh, v a squared. Okay, so that one now is going over there. That's a uh, V A squared equals V A prime squared plus one half V B prime squared. So those are the two equations that I have. And now I've got um, now in terms of what do what, what do I know and what do I not know? Remember, I know what V A is. Okay, so that's known. So let's just scroll up a bit here. So VA was 4.5. That's known. The unknown values are VA prime. That's unknown. And the other unknown is VB prime. Okay, so I've got, at this point, two equations and two unknowns. How am I going to solve them? Well, I think probably an easy way to do this uh, would be to use substitution. So I'm going to pick a variable uh, here from from the top, either a VA prime or a VB prime. I'm going to I'm going to pick uh, a VB prime, and I'm going to say, okay, fine. VB prime is equal to two VA minus two VA prime. Okay, so that comes from here. Now, I'm going to substitute this equation into here. So, I'm going to say uh, VA prime squared, oops, that's a horizontal line, is equal to VA prime squared plus one half, and here comes uh, two V A minus two uh, V A prime, and now that's all squared. Okay. Therefore, uh, from this, um, from inside here, okay, let's do a one more simplification here. Let's actually factor out this 2. Now if you factor this 2 out in these brackets you'll get a 2 but remember it's being squared so therefore uh, I'm going to get it to be a 4 on the outside here so 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2 okay the one has so that's 4 divided by 2 is 2 and now and now on the inside I've got that all squared. So I just I factored out the two uh, and, and squared it and it got rid of the one half which becomes a two. Now let's square this out. Okay so let's write the equation again and what's our objective here? What are we trying to find? We're trying to find there's only one unknown in this now and, and, and that's the variable we're looking for. So we've got Actually, it would probably be a better idea if we bring this term over to the other side of the equal sign. But let's just expand this out, and we'll do that later. So I've got two times. Now, here, I'm going to have VA squared minus, remember, A minus B squared is A squared minus 2 like that, multiply them together, m plus a VA prime squared. Okay, now, uh, the next step for me is to collect like terms, and now I'm going to bring this guy over. S so, how many VA primes do I have here? VA prime squareds. I've got one here, and I've got 
uh, two here. Okay, that's not one. That's actually two. So so two plus one makes three. So I've got three v a prime squared, and then I've got uh, two times two is negative four v a uh, v a prime, and then finally. I've got 2 VA squared, but you see that, I have to bring this guy over now, so it's going to be 2 VA squared minus a VA from here, which is just going to leave me with 1 VA squared. That's all going to equal 0. Therefore, now, I have to realize that I now have a uh, quadratic, and my if, if I write this in terms of, say, uh, an, a, you know, an X or... Uh, remember, this is a known value. VA is a known value. It's 4.5. Okay, so we can actually substitute that in. So 3 VA prime squared minus 4 times uh, 4.5 VA prime plus 4.5 squared equals 0. Now, basically my A term, this is my A term here. Uh, this is my B term in the quadratic, and that's my C term. Okay, so my A is a 3. My B is 4 enter 4.5 times is 18 negative, And my C is 4.5 squared which is 20.25 and that's a positive. Now I'm gonna use a calculator to solve this quadratic okay and let's see if I can do that here 3 store A 18 chain shine store B and 20.25 store C and Let's see what we get here. My answer is for uh, VA prime, I'm getting either a 1.5 or a 4.5. Now, those are the two answers that I'm that I'm getting for uh, for VA. Now, interestingly enough, um, let's kind of remember what is actually happening and they're both positive by the way and also we're not really quite finished because we still need to find uh, VB prime and the way we're going to do that is coming back up here to this equation um, here this one and we're going to go 2VA minus 2VA prime so 2VA minus 2VA prime. Uh, that's just 2 times uh, VA minus VA prime. But now that we know what VA prime is, uh, we can now substitute that in. And we know what this is. This is, this is 4.5. Question, though, is that which one of these two do you think we should go for? Well, remember what's happening here. We have this A ball coming in at 4.5. And here's the B ball. Well, if, he, if they hit each other, then the two situations are that the, this one, if it continues with 4.5, obviously means that, per, from my perspective, it means that it didn't actually uh, hit this one because the final velocity of VA if it's 4.5 then I don't think this is the correct answer because that would mean that it didn't really hit it and and the final velocity of VB in that case uh, would be 0 because 4.5 minus 4.5 would be 0 and in that case uh, that's the situation where they don't even touch each other okay so the 1.5 is the correct answer 
So therefore, we're going to go 2 times 4.5 minus 1.5. And so that's just going to be 2 times uh, 3, uh, which is 6. Okay? So therefore, uh, this one, so VA prime, the final velocity of VA is 1.5, positive to the right, and the final velocity of VB prime is 6 to the right. Okay? And in that case, both momentum and elastic uh, or el perfectly elastic collision causing uh, conservation of kinetic energy is conserved. There you go. That's the end of our problem. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a long one. See ya.